Hmm. It's empty. Well, they're on the table. Let's check the status of these Status Audio headphones. Now these are studio reference uh, headphones and we have an open back and a closed back. It's not two versions of the same headset, one closed and one open. They are both quite different. So what I'm gonna do is just, um, you wanna stay tuned to the end. I'm just gonna tell you that. I'm gonna go through the specs right now, but they sound really good for the money. Uh, I was actually a bit shocked. I was like, wow, these sound really good. First off, I'm gonna cover the specs on each one of these, and then we're gonna talk about how they sound. So first off, starting off with the open back. Now they're both over the ear headphones. You get a um, three meter cable. Yes, very long cable and it terminates in 3.5 millimeter plug, but there's also an adapter. And this is a this is a heavy duty plug right here. This is really nice, uh, especially in this price range. You don't see many plugs that are this nice. I'm gonna talk about the plug too much. I'll put that on the floor. 15 to 30 kilohertz uh, is the frequency response range. 54 ohms, so uh, they're a little bit, I mean, most standard headphones are like 32 ohms as far as the impedance goes. These are gonna require a tiny bit more power. So if you're listening to them on like a portable device, you just have to turn it up a little bit more, but you should be able to get plenty of volume out of them. Um, they're not really designed for that. They're designed for using it at your house or your computer, but it'll work just fine like that. These are 13.7 ounces, and uh, we have a 42 millimeter driver here on these. Now, as far as the fit and the feel, I like the fact that you have a lot of, uh, a lot of range of motion here in the cans themselves, and we have a cord coming out of each, each individual Cup right there, it's two different cords, or one cord going to the same. So when you put this on, the clamping factor is really high. In fact, uh, that's pretty high. The foam is, is, is nice, but it's um, also not the softest foam on the planet. The, the band, not too bad. We have like a leather uh, or leatherette on top of that. And then some more foam on the top there. I'm gonna go ahead and put these on and just uh, talk to you guys for a minute. Now they're, they're open back, which is nice. But uh, yeah, the clamping factor on these is it's pretty good i've uh, i've got like a medium sized head i don't know what's i don't know what's a normal sized head man but it's not my head's not huge for my body but anyway these are i'm seven and a fourth cap size ball cap or whatever yeah they're not amazingly comfortable but they're wearable they just really clamp down uh, and you can feel it here and you can feel it here so i wore them for a couple of hours playing video games and uh, the experience was nice but i was very aware that i was wearing um headphones they're not extremely heavy they're just uh kind of tight on the head so that's the ob1 let's move over and talk about the cb1 that's closed back and open back for any of you geniuses out there who want to figure things out so these i would uh, say are sort of an interesting competitor to the audio technica ithm 50x or something like that uh, except for the those are more designed for audiophile these are designed for studio a lot of people use those in the studio. I think they're crazy. They should probably be using these. So let's talk about the specs on this and then we'll get down to why I like them a little better than something like that. These have 50 millimeter drivers. The frequency response range is um, 15 to 30 uh, kilohertz. It's 15 hertz to 30 kilohertz. And then um, they're 32 ohm. So they require slightly uh, less power compared to those. And then of course we have, uh, there we go, 3.5 millimeter and it also comes with an adapter in the box, but this is really cool. The cable is detachable. It came with a curly cable and I was like, oh no, I don't like curly cables. I know some people out there who are in the studios who are always like moving stuff around, they like the curly cables, but for a lot of us, this is gonna be annoying because it's heavy and it just, I don't know, for my opinion, it gets in the way. They've also included a three millimeter uh, standard cable and it also works with the adapter. So that is really cool to have the detachable cable uh, with this. Now these are quite a bit softer. They're 13.2 ounces, so they're, they're nice and uh, nice and light. And uh, they don't feel, I mean, they're, they're plastic, uh, a little bit of metal going through the middle here. And um, man, those are soft. That's like a memory foam. Oh, yes. Now one thing that's interesting about the cups, these don't, let me see, I'll turn them all the way around here. One thing interesting about the cups, these are, uh, they're not a, a perfect or a perfect circle, or they're not even, as you'd see with a lot of different um, units out there on the market they've sort of got more padding on one side or the other, so they contour to your head better. And I found this to be extremely comfortable. In fact, these are 10 to one uh, more comfortable over the open back headphones over there. So yeah, putting these on, oh man, it's nice, soft. And uh, there we go, nice and adjusted on there. Even the headband is uh, you know, not putting too much pressure. The clamping factor is lower. So all around, these are just a more comfortable uh, set of headphones. Uh, the other thing I wanna no uh, note on these uh, both of these, of course, is that um, you can adjust them here on the sides, and they do have some numbers there to indicate 
you know, where you are as far as your adjustments go. And this one's metal, this one's plastic. It uh, doesn't play with it. I've been knocking these things around because, I mean, they're, they're like 60, 70 bucks, 80 bucks, whatever, depending on where you get them. And, uh, yeah, for the for that price, I'm completely happy with the build quality. In fact, I think it's better than a lot of $100 uh, headphones out there on the market. All right, so that's that. Let's talk about how they sound. And I'll start with the ones that are in my, ha my hand. That's the uh, CB1, the closed back set of headphones. So I put these on. And now these are reference, uh, sort of studio reference grade. So they're not made to have tons of bass. They don't give you that loudness, boom, you know, that, all that boom and all that nonsense. Um, well, it's not nonsense if you like it. Maybe you can like whatever you want. These are, they try, they, they try to um, give you a more neutral response. The mids are a little subdued, not much, but the highs are crystal clear. And the lows are there and not extremely boomy. But we do have a, a nice low end. Um, it, it's I guess it's, it doesn't sound like a, a cardboard subwoofer. You know you you know the the, the sound I'm talking about it doesn't sound like that. Uh, some people are maybe going to want a bit more bass, but this gives me a nice neutral sound. And from there, if you wanted to, you could equalize for music. I tend to to like it this way. I just I, I don't know. I like the the flat frequency response sound that you get. And we can argue all day about preference, but. They just sound really good. They're nice and clean. There's not, it's, it's not muddy at all. And a lot of the things in this price range are nowhere near as good. I would put these up against my Sony MDR 7506. Uh, those are some of the best in the industry as far as the price point to, uh, you know, how clean they sound. I would put them up against that. And I think they're slightly more comfortable than those. In fact, I they're, they're definitely more comfortable than those. So they actually have a very similar sound to that. Um, and yeah, they're really comfortable. As far as music listening, they're really good for rock and roll, really going to be good for jazz. Uh, or orchestral stuff is going to sound really nice on these. If you're doing the dance music and stuff, you might want to get something that has more bass. Uh, I don't know what the, these are okay for that, but uh, typically you'll want something with either more of a hi-fi sound or more of a just hip-hop bass sound, uh, and th that's not what these do. Uh, one other thing to, to note about these is these are closed back, but I didn't get that tiny, you know, squished soundstage that you get with a lot of different uh, closed back head headphones. They do feel um, pretty good. So they've done a good job in here at making sure the frequencies don't uh, become muddy and bounce around in the wrong places. I mean, there are closed backs, so the sound stage is not huge, but it is pretty pretty damn good. Now, let's talk about the, uh, the open back ones, or the OB ones. They don't have quite as much treble as the closed back ones, but other than that, they sound really, um, probably a slight bit smoother. And, and uh, I, that's a very difficult sort of subjective thing, but Maybe it's the top end is rolled off just a little bit more, but they have a nice smooth sound to them. And since they're open back, um, you do get a bigger sound stage. And these are actually really good for video games. So if you hear someone coming around the corner, if you're wearing these, you'll have a little bit better of an idea uh, of where things are. It just kind of opens up the room because the frequencies are not contained here. Now, mind you, you'll be able to hear other people in the room talking. People are also going to be able to hear you as far as like whatever you're listening to, because it'll be coming out of the side of the headphones. So these are not no, you know, isolation or whatever. They don't isolate the sounds or they don't like re remove or what's, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't even know. I've stopped caring. But anyway, these also sound really, uh, really nice, but they're not as comfortable. So that's the thing. I wish that those had an open back option because those are extremely comfortable. And I wouldn't mind a slightly bigger soundstage on those, but for a lot of studio work, you do want closed back and they do a really good job. So uh, I recommend these, these are good. You may wanna to try to try out some memory foam. I'm not sure if it'll change the sound signature at all with the memory foam. It may, it may end up giving you a slightly more bass, but uh, I don't know. I, I, these need to be slightly more comfortable in my opinion. For most people, they'll probably be okay. But for long sessions, uh, if you have a slightly larger head they are gonna they're gonna clamp down and um, just be a little tight and uncomfortable I, I can't say i can't say enough good about these guys these things sound amazing um unless you need tons and tons of extra bass oh i almost forgot they also fold down check that out so you know take them with you or whatever and uh, just you can just remove the cable the cable does lock into place you have to twist it and then pull it out so that's also cool i, I just, these are great that's that's just the the end of it these things sound amazing and I want them to make an open back version of this as well to give us an option. I'm not sure if it'll sound the same, but you know, I'm sure they could figure it out. Anyway, uh, that's a couple of different headphones from Status Audio. They're a new company out of Brooklyn, uh, making these in, in China, but they're designing them there. So let us know what you think. Uh, I'm gonna be using these here and there. Uh, we'll probably have these in the studio because they're just a really good pair of headphones for the money. 
Let us know what you guys think in the comments, and if you want to see more, more audio videos, let me know. I personally love doing audio videos. A lot of it's subjective, but uh, hopefully uh, you, know, you guys can get used to what my uh, style is as far as the sounds that I like, and uh, I, really did, I really like the neutral stuff. So anyway, see you guys in the comments. Thanks a lot for your patronage. You guys are really keeping us alive, especially during the, uh, the move and everything. Good things coming. See you guys in the comments.